Welcome back, guys. I have figured out perfect plantations. Oh, hell yeah. And it's awesome. It's even more awesome than it was before. And also, I'm going to show you a simple way to beat the colonial era on the most difficult settings. So let's, um, it, it's exactly the same settings that I had before. I'm restarting because I, the, the plantation thing is bugged. There's no question. I've played around with it a lot and the results are so unpredictable, it's crazy. But I have found one layout that works. So, but it's gonna mean completely knocking down the entire town because the new plantations are gonna be in an area here. Right, so, so we gotta get like loads of cash so that I can do that. So I'm gonna show you the simple way to beat the colonial era. So we're going to start off with a couple of uh, a couple of sugar plantations. This is going to be all about the rum. Now I want to have this like probably about over here, say. So I'm just wondering if I can eke out a bit more space. Uh, now, now I'm going to do, I'm going to do it here. I think that'll do. But um, this doesn't have to be particularly scientific, to be honest. So a couple of those in there. We want uh, a bit of a road going on. So let's have a road coming over there, down there, and across to there. That's fine. And then we want to throw in a nice distillery. So rum distillery goes in there. Boom. That leaves us enough to buy a second trade license. Cha-ching. And we're going to be taking rum contracts whenever we can. So let's uh, let's let that get built. Crank it up to times four, and this I got. Th this is like pretty straightforward. I tell you what, we could improve it maybe slightly. Uh, uh, that freaking thing is in the way, but I'm going to put a road in down there just to make it a bit easier for the uh, for the teamsters. I could I could probably have that road. Yeah, just don't worry, don't worry, it doesn't matter. It's all gonna get, this is all good, all of this, this whole thing, chapel, houses, this is all gonna get ripped out. It's all gonna get changed. I might even move the dock. In fact, I'm, I'm thinking I probably will move the dock. All right, so what are we doing? Well, we're growing sugar, we're turning it into rum and we're selling it and it's that simple. And you will find that it's pretty darn Excuse easy. Excuse me, Earlsboard. I need a teensy... Fulfill a trade route. Okay, well, that's not going to be difficult anymore. I'll be getting new offers in a month. Let's let it run on a month. And... Oh, didn't give me any new rum contracts. How mean. Corruption is so I've got Build a library. Okay. That's the, exactly the, the same quest that we got in the first one so that's good we're mirroring exactly how the first one went I hope I get in fact I hope I get quest from the crown to build another distillery that would kind of work okay so freighter arrives just a little a little 1800 but how's this doing not doing anything yet What about our Teamsters? Are our Teamsters doing anything? No? <laughs> Not the best. Oh, one of our Teamsters has gone to work. Hooray! And that was much rejoicing. Oh, and he's gone and got some sugar. Oh, and they've taken it to the rum distillery. Hooray! So now we are producing rum. The question is, will any of that rum get to the docks before this ship arrives? Oh, we've got some bananas. Any rum? No, no chance. <laughs> God. The teamsters, the teamsters do suck in this game. But it'll be good. It'll be good. Oh, and finally we get some rum. Hooray. And here's the next ship coming in. You know what? I might speed it up a bit. Come on, ship. Sail a bit faster. How are we doing? Yep, we're still churning out the rum. We've still got sugar. It's all going well. Got 1,000 bananas, 500 rum. Come on, ship some more rum down there. Go on, be good. I must say I'm glad to be... Trade rate completed. 
Extend the mandate by 18 months. Awesome. I haven't got any cash to spend, but that's okay. That's okay. How are we doing? Yeah, we're churning out the Something room. Does not feel quite There's another 500 on the way to the docks. Should arrive fairly soon. There it is. Here comes the next ship. Now I'm going to turn that off because it kind of doesn't matter. Uh, let's pause for a second. Just want to check out. We got any room contracts? Yes, room contract. Do that. And we can probably, like, if we see any banana contracts, we could probably do a banana contract as well. But rum, rum, bananas. That's what it's all about. So, oh, look at that. 10,000. PG. All right, cool. What we can do now is we can upgrade the rum, the rum distillery to Dunderstill. Reduces the sugar consumption by 25%. Boom. And then I'm going to throw in, if I can fit it in, which hopefully I will be able to, uh, we'll throw in another sugar. Uh, at least one square, if I put it there. Now, I could put it like... I could put it there. Go on, I'll put it there. Like, what the hell? Uh, we So we want a rug that comes up like there. That'll do. That'll do, that's fine. So we'll let that get built, and I haven't got enough money yet. But we're going to put in another rum distillery. And three three sugar plantations with uh, should should feed two distilleries. More, Governor, more. All another trade route. What can we get? Oh, rum. That'll do. Any bananas? No. Go. So, how are we doing here? Yeah, we're still churning out plenty of rum. Come on, boats. Come on, guys. Get me, get me loads of rum. Get that rum down to the docks. So, as soon as I've, um, as soon as I've done this enough to get enough cash, we'll start moving stuff around and, and demolishing stuff and. Which would be kind of cool. And then we'll do my perfect plantation layout. <laughs> awesome. This is, to be honest, this is just rinse and repeat now. It's just a case of uh, doing whatever crown tasks we get. So build any buildings that they ask us to build and just complete trade routes. So any more trade routes? No bananas. Just the one rum contract. How are we doing? But not. Where's the, where's the rum? We got like twelve hundred rum, thirteen hundred rum. Get it to the docks. Yeah, but uh, as you can see, it's it's pretty straightforward. Extend the mandate again. We're almost up to six years on the mandate. Um, once I get enough cash, I'll put in the the second distillery. I was hoping to kind of do that while you were here, but let's see. How's this? We got five hundred rum there. We've got a thousand room there. If they get that stuff down there. Come on, guys. Move the freaking room. It's a shame you can't like prioritize or something. I'm, I'm just gonna show you like them getting this like like if they ever freaking do. We've got fifteen hundred room sitting there now. The hell is with the Teamsters? Okay, the, the Teamsters officially suck. Okay, I'm gonna pause that. We've got we've got two vacant jobs. So I think at this point, I'm actually going to put in a second Teamsters because the Teamsters are just useless. They're not doing anything. Let's put in another Teamsters. Uh, yeah, let's throw in another Teamsters there. Am I going to quick build it? Yeah, I'm going to quick build it because I just want to get on with this. Right, there we go. Now, hopefully, should be a little bit more on the ball at getting this stuff moved. 1,600 rum. Come on. Then I can see Teamsters going out. Oh, yes, they're going. They're picking up the rum. Thank God. About freaking time. Oh, now look at this. 16,000 coming in. That's Excuse more like me, it. Sport. I need a teensy tiny favor. Fulfill a trade route. And hopefully. Oh, oh no rum contracts. Ah, no rum contracts. And no bananas either. This is where it does pay to kind of diversify a little bit, but rum contracts are pretty common. 
so it shouldn't be a problem. So what I'm going to do now, as soon as this guy gives us some cash, hooray! So now we can afford to put in a second rum distillery, which can go there, that's fine. I could put it there, but nah, let's, let's put it there, just to be different. Um, I'm not going to quit build that, just build that. And then what I'll do, as soon as this gets built, we'll get rid of the uh, the builders. And the only the only time I'll put them back in is if I if I need to build a building for a government contract. Get that built. Come on, guys, finish it off. And there it goes, hooray. So now we can get rid of the builders. They can go and work in the distillery or on one of the farms or something. How we doing? Boom, 17,000. And that, that was before we put that in. So we're getting loads of cash now. What I'm gonna do is just run this for a little bit. Uh, oh, and a run contract, right. And we're up to 10% now, sweet. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna run this on a little bit, get a bunch of cash, uh, hopefully extend the mandate out a little bit, and then we'll put in the perfect plantations. And about 10 minutes later, we're up at 76,000 in the bank and everything is flying along very nicely. Okay, at this point, right, stop. We are gonna do the perfect plantations now. So, how am I gonna do this? Uh, well, actually, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this crop go to the minimum. Cause there is this bug, ah, that's it. There is this bug where when you get rid of when you get rid of uh, plantations, sometimes the crop stays there. Like most of the time, the crop stays there, and you can't get rid of it. Like even if you lay a road down, it, it'll show through the road, which is kind of not great. But it is what it is. Anyway, shut up. Let's get this done. So you know what? I want to demolish like loads of stuff and move loads of stuff. The palace. I think we'll move the palace. Let's move the palace over here, maybe. Yeah. Let's have the palace over there. Cool, that's the palace. And then I want, ah, uh, my favorite thing, the demolish tool, destroy. We're gonna destroy all of this stuff. So that goes, the chapel, all these houses, the tavern, and those houses, boom, 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 and those houses. Now, I need to move the construction and I need to build the construction before I can knock that one down. So where am I gonna put this? Um, let's put, I don't know, let's put it over here somewhere out of the way. Yeah, you can go there. Um, let's quick build that. And I need to also, you can't demolish your last, last Teamster either, so let's move the Teamsters. Where am I going to move the Teamsters? Let's have, um, let's have a Teamster in there, I think. It's probably a good place for a Teamster. So, quick build you, go. And check, right, cool. So now I can demolish that one, demolish that one, and demolish that one. So I put in a second Teamster over here. Yeah, go on, let's do it. Uh, teamster, throw in a second Teamster there. And quick build that, yes, go. And cha-ching. And all of this stuff is going away very slowly. And it's all gone, hooray. And there was much rejoicing. Now, we're not gonna need the construction workers for a while because I'm just gonna quick build everything from this point. So let's close those down. Um, these guys, we're gonna want these guys running loose load limit. So let's have that. Uh, I, have, I got a, a task to build another rum distillery. So I built a rum distillery, uh, but it's actually closed down at the moment. So we're still running on these two. Oh, that needs to go, demolish that. Let's let that go away. While that's happening, let me start uh, Let me start putting some roads. Oh no, it's almost, almost gone. Let's get rid of it, because then I can get demolished these roads and I can get the whole thing done. You get, seriously guys, you're gonna love this. This is just freaking awesome sauce. Right, get rid of that, 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 and that, and that as well. All right, so. Now, you can do this with um, 
you need you need plantations at least five by three. Now I'm actually going to do five by five, but you can do it as small as five by three. But you really do need five by three for this to work. So I'm going to have a road coming down there, and have a road going over here as far as there. I know I know the measurements because it's just to the point there. And then I'm going to run this road all the way down, like as far as it'll go. That's fine. You come down as far as you'll go. Actually, let's run you down to there. Right now, bit of bit of marking in. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. Road across. One, two, three, four, five, and road across. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five. Did I get that one? Oh, yeah, I think I got that right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Right across there. And one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I got it exactly freaking right. Boom. Yeah, we need to hook this back up. I'll tell you what. Oh, a little road like that. That'll do. Sweet. Peachy. Peachy. Uh, we need to hook this road system up. What I'm thinking of is just get rid of that. Get rid of that. Run that road up to there and into there. Sweet. Okay. Now, plantations. <laughs> now, some people, um, judging by, well, looking at the comments, some people don't understand how plantations work, right? The, the, the growth is, is purely visual, right? In some games, let, let's go over here. In some games, right, the, the people will go out and they'll actually pick the crops. Right, that are, that are on display. That's not what happens in Tropico, right? All of this is purely visual. The actual production is just our worker times the efficiency, right? That's the production. So it, like, the fact that this is this big, this is not growing area. It, it, it doesn't work like that. It is literally a guy goes to work and he produces at this efficiency. That's it. Doesn't matter how much land there is. It's not like they go out and they pick the crops. It's not, this is not banished or something, right? It doesn't work like that. So let's get let's get these plantations in. Uh, I hope that's cleared that up for people because there was a lot of misunderstanding in the comments. Right. So we're going to start off with uh, we're going to start off with sugar. I think yeah. So we'll have sugar, tobacco, and cocoa, and sugar and tobacco now if you want two of each right uh, then you, you need to do this three by six if you want one of each plant plantation type then um, th then then three by five for two of each six by five I'm gonna have like um, like 1.666 of each so what do I do uh, I am going for um, Pineapple next. So we got pineapple, banana, corn, and then pineapple and banana. But and then the next row is um, cotton rubber coffee. Cotton, actually no. Um, yeah, yeah, cotton rubber coffee. So cotton rubber is actually really good for this. Um, before I was, I was only putting in one rubber. Then I was putting in two cotton and, and two coffee, but actually rubber's really good. I'll show you why. It's because it's got a, a specific upgrade. And so coffee and coffee goes in the middle, and then cotton and rubber. Boom. And then we go back to sugar. So sugar, tobacco, cocoa, and sugar, and tobacco. And then we finish off with, um, yeah, pineapple, banana, corn, pineapple, banana. Okay, now, <clears throat> the idea is that we don't use the top row and the bottom row. I mean, we may end up using them later on, but initially, we're only going to be using the 15 plantations in the, in the middle. Now, just get that. 15 working plantations in that much space is just like that's three look how much space that's taking up 
It's ridiculous. This is going to be an absolute powerhouse for production. So let me get these. Um, let me get these quick built. Um, as well as as well as just the obvious benefits of doing this, you also get like some other benefits. Like for example, the efficiency um, on of the workers and the teamsters in terms of the distance they have to travel. Because this is so compact, it's um, it's going to be really efficient for uh, for moving around. And the other thing is, because again, because it's so compact, we, we've got loads of room to have, we can have a town going on over here, we can have another town going on over here, and it means the workers are really close to where they work. So it's, it's kind of awesome. And also, all of your, all of your proximity bonuses, um, for like the farms and stuff, uh, the ranches, are, uh, are so much better. So this, this is awesome. If you don't think this is, this is awesome, then you've misunderstood. <laughs> Seriously, you've misunderstood something. Right, that, should we quick build them all? Let's have a look at this, because this is gonna be freaking sweet. Go. And boom, there are our plantations. Now, because I've put roads in all around it, it's nice, there's no excess bits or anything. That looks very, very tidy, doesn't it? How cool is that? It's freaking sweet. Now, we're, I'm going to turn off these end rows because we're not going to be using these end rows. Can you see how much more confident I am this time? Because I know that this is going to work. And then we're going to turn off this row as well. Boom, 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 and boom. Now, do you want to see the efficiencies? Do you want to see the efficiencies? Okay, so an end row an end row is like this. An end row, oh, I need to change it to, <laughs> change it to multiculture. Boom. Now, let, let me, I just want to stress this point. This is sustainable. These farms, oh, sorry, these plantations will work like this forever at the same efficiencies. These over here, uh, oh, now these, these three, I need to manually change them back to monoculture. I just control click that, which changed these. So if you look at these, these these are already losing fertility. Right? We haven't been running for very long. That's down, it's down eight percent. This is down twelve percent. This one's down eight percent. Okay, so this is not sustainable. So you have to go monocle. Uh, you have to go multiculture if you want long-term plantations. This, seriously, this is the way. This is freaking sweet. So, now let's have a look. Um, yeah, so, 100%. And you'll see that the efficiency on, on, the, on the two end rows, it, it's not that great. We will get it a little bit higher than that, but it's not that great. You know what? Actually, no, screw it. Shall I put the ranches in? Yeah, I'll put, let me put the ranches in so that we can stick. Then I, have, I only need to go through it once, which will be quicker. So, let's, let's put the ranches in. So, I'm gonna put cattle ranches in. Now, you can do this with, I think, with sheep or with goats as well. I think they both have the manure option. The thing is that sheep, no, and goats, no. The, f the fertility is horrible. So we're going to stick with uh, with cattle. So we'll have um, we'll have a cattle ranch up, say, uh, oh, no, it won't go in there. It'll go in there. So we'll have a cattle ranch there. We'll have a cattle ranch, uh, say, there. And we'll have another one probably there and can I get a cattle ranch in there no okay I've got to get rid of that so we will demolish that demolish that I'll do the upgrade for the dunder still for that one and we'll let the workers in okay go 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 knock it down hooray and it sinks into the ground Right, thank you, boom. Okay, let's do this ranch. Goes in um, there or there. Probably there, actually. Yeah, let's put it there. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four ranches. Let's quick build those. Quick build and quick build and quick build. Now, this is what I mean about the, um, the proximity bonuses. 
We put four ranches in, it's gonna cover all of these. So, let's get, uh, now these need to ch be changed to uh, pasture prohibition so that they don't decrease the fertility. So that's important. And then upgrade, we want manure and that one and that one and that one. Okay, cool. So now, now let's take a look. So these end rows that we're not gonna be using, or at least not initially, uh, this thing is um, 63 with 100% bonus. So it's it's, um, it's 69 and this one, this one, 69 and this one, 62 and this one, 60. And you can see it's getting the influence from the ranch. So those, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe in, at a push, if you've got excess population, you might want to use them, but we're not going to be using those, okay? And the same for this row down here. This row we're not going to use, and what is it? We've got, we're getting 100% bonus, uh, and the efficiency is 64. This one is 66. This one is 62. So it's nice and consistent, 60 and 69, right? But like I said, we're not going to use those. Now, it's these 15 in the middle. 160%, efficiency, 130. This one, 160, 124. This one, 160, 120. This one, 160, 124. 160, 126. 160, 118. 160, 117. 160, 119. Oh, now, uh, there's a there is an extra bonus that we can put on uh, 160 119 on the rubber so this is uh, 160 117 but we can do the bigger buckets increases by 20 we'll do that and do that over here as well upgrade that one so now this this is running 140 percent and that one yeah these yeah 130 percent this, they're all they're all 160 bonus. So 122, 129, 129, and 119. Right. So they're all around the 120 percent mark. 15 plantations in that space, all at around 120 percent efficiency. That is what I was going for. Now we have not got anywhere near enough people to actually run this. Right? No, not not even close. We're, we're short 153, well, no, like 130 people. Just way, that's not going to work. Now, these ranches, these will give their bonus, even if nobody's working there, right? So I'm going to close these down, because like the efficiency isn't that great. They're only, like This one's only like 63 efficiency. So we'll close down the ranches. Boom, boom, boom. And this one, boom. Cool. Right, initially... Kind of what we want to do is we want to focus on what we've been doing because that's been working really nicely and we, we don't want that to stop working. So what we're going to do, this um, this row here, this is the sugar row and this is sugar and tobacco and cocoa, right? So um, the, the cocoa actually, I, I don't want cocoa at the moment so I'm going to close that one down. We'll keep the sugar coming in. Um, the tobacco, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have the tobacco coming in at the moment. So that, those two sugar plantations that's that's like 260 percent if you add those two together 260 percent right these three you add them together this one is 92 88 that's 180 that's 98 so, uh, so that's 180 yeah like 270 and those two together taking up what <laughs> like a fraction of the space like a sixth of the space are doing the same job, right? So uh, these we're going to get rid of. That one, going to demolish. Uh, now I want to make sure that I've got enough people, right, doing doing the jobs. So we've turned off the um, the the cocoa and the tobacco. Uh, I'm cotton. No, I don't want cotton at the moment. Don't want uh, now the rubber because of the efficiency. I might let I might let the rubber run. Uh, we'll close out the coffee, close out that, we'll leave the rubber, and then I want some food coming in, so, which is, 
You know what? We'll leave a banana. Uh, we'll leave a pineapple and a banana, and we'll close the others. So close that one down. Close that one down, and close that one down. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna close that. Boom. That one's being demolished. Right, go. Oh, oh, no, one more thing, one more thing. I want to bring some more people in, obviously, because we've, we've still got, like, 20 vacant jobs. So let's start bringing some people in. So library. Let's build our library. Do, 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 do. Uh, what do I want? Education and media. God, can you tell how freaking excited I am? <laughs> Crazy. Where do I want the library? I don't know. I, I'm thinking kind of next to the palace. Have a library on either side. Sure. Like, there and there. and there. They kind of look impressive. Do you have a library? Yeah, go on, let's do it. Library. Um, I'm going to quick build it. Oh, I could just afford... You know what, I'm going to do it. Quick build. Okay, well, I just had my first um, my first game crash. Now I've just had to reload to a previous save. Okay. So what were we doing? We were just, um, we were just quick building that, weren't we? Yes, we were. Right, let's get on with it. Go. Our revolution Ray. is as yet only marginally glorious. Let's but bring in... With your continuous support, Governor... The people will make it shine. Let's bring in 10 revolutionary immigrants. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. So how are we doing now for population? We've got 34 unemployed, 54 vacant jobs. Right. Get to work. Get to work. Okay, now what I'm going to do over here with the sugar, um, we're at 128 efficiency. You know what? I'm going to bump that up. Just the sugar, I'm going to bump the budgets up. So that we're at 147 and 153, which is exactly 300%. So that's like three 100% plantations, uh, which means, pause, uh, we can get rid of these. So demolish that and demolish that. Cha-ching. Go. So now all we need is for people to be working there. Now let's see. Have I got? Uh, I know I haven't got anybody working there. No, it's all fine. It's all fine. So all we need is to actually get a bit of sugar move. Let's crank it up. Oh, come on. Let's crank it back up. So we got anything down at the docks? No, nothing down at the docks at the moment. So yeah, like. God, what a, I freaking love this setup. It's so awesome. Like, even if you're not using, like, all of this, and, you know, we don't have the population to, to use all of it, I ask myself, go it's ahead. still the staggering. Justify being me. Have a pirate cove. Yeah, okay. Now, one thing, you do need to be careful with um, with taking these, these tasks, because you'll get your approval up really quickly if you're playing on, on hard settings. And you'll trigger the the world wars. So let's uh, let's actually check out what's what are our not uh, we're at 100 percent with the crown, which is nice. So we are 42 and 50 percent. Yeah, we're gonna have to be we're gonna have to be careful about that. You've still got no sugar. You've got sugar though. You're cranking out the room. Oh, and now you've got sugar. Sweet. Come on, come on, Teamsters. Keep that stuff moving. Hooray. Yep, and we're churning out the rum again. So, hopefully, we should still be producing similar kind, similar amounts of cash with a bit of luck. Oh, 10,000. That'll do. Boom. And we've completed a trade route. Uh, let's see. Fulfill. Oh, that's an import trade route. Oh, import trade route. Okay, pause. What are we going to import? Well, let's see. What can we import? We can import some logs. They're fairly cheap. 15% below standard. Um, yeah, I think we'll do, yeah, just do the logs. Oh, not enough funds. Oh, that's a problem, actually. Okay, guys, we, we need to be on the ball now. Produce that rum, get it shipped down there. 6,000, we need more than that. We need that, we have 17 in the hole, 18 in the hole. Please ship some of this rum. Where are we? Now these, these guys are working. 
still six out. Come on, Teamsters. Get some room down to the docks, damn it. They're not going to. So I can't take a contract. Oh, man. Thank God I've got a long mandate. And there's kind of nothing else I can do until this um, until this picks back up. Out of sugar again. Come on, guys. Churn out the freaking sugar. I did the... Uh, yeah, I did I definitely... They're both upgraded. How are we doing? Oh, 16,000. That's a bit more like it. Almost 17,000. Peachy. Okay, so... What was I going to buy? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I was going to get the, that import contract, wasn't I? Yeah. Um, pineapple, meat, leather. I don't know. Let's import. I don't know. Maybe import some meat, maybe. Yeah, go on. We'll import some meat. It's 15% below standard. So we'll do that, and then we'll get uh, we'll get a rum contract and, I don't know, a pineapple contract. Yeah. Boom. Go. So, we've got three nice contracts. Off we go. So, I've got, got a bit of cash. I could do a little bit of spending, but I think I'm just going to let it run for now. Now, we've got probably, yeah, I was going to say, we've got three people working in the library. Uh, do I actually want them working in the library? Oh, we've got people working on the plantations. We've got, we're full at the Teamsters. And we're full there. So, actually... We've got 17 vacant jobs. But all the all the critical things are working, so let's see. Oh, look at this, 17,000 coming in. Boom. <laughs> yeah, so really, it's just a case of kind of let it run. Um, let's keep an eye on so let it keep running, but let's keep an eye on... Oh, did I do that? Oh, no. Probably the next ship that comes in will complete that trade route. Uh, oh, fun. Now, that's a good point. We need to get the fun up, because when your fun is very low... Probably can't see, because we're, we're running it on fast, but your people actually move very slowly. Look, we've got stuck people. I must say, I'm glad to be still working. Extend the mandate. Cool. Ooh, we're down. We're down below nine years on our mandate. Nightmare. But that's busy. that's an issue. Idle. So you should be working at the rum distillery, but not because it's a bug. It's it's definitely it definitely seems to be a bug with demolishing buildings. When you demolish buildings, people get stuck. And like over time. That can add up to a lot of people. I'm wondering if that's, like how badly that's impacting us. But yeah, anyway, um, I'm okay. people walk, um, people actually move around slower if the fun levels are down. So we actually want to throw in some stuff to, uh, to, make it, to make it fun to live here. So I am thinking that we maybe throw in like a couple of taverns. Uh, I could throw in one there and I could throw in one there. You know what? Let's do it. Let's throw in a couple of taverns. So what are we at the moment? I'm going to quick build those as well. Because they're cheap. What the hell? So what are we at, at the moment? Let's carry on. Uh, actually, do I want to let it run? Yeah, I do want to let it run. Probably. Um, what, was the, what was the fun level? Where's happiness? Happiness. So uh, we're at five. <laughs> Which is, yeah, about as low as you can get. Health is really low as well. We could really do with a chapel. You know what? Let's get a chapel because the problem is people will die off if there's no uh, if there's no health care. So what do we want? We want public services. Can I put in a clinic? No, it's World Wars. But I can put in a chapel. So um, should I put the chapel? Should I just pop the chapel in there, or do I leave a bit of room and put it there? You know what? I'm going to put it there. I think. Yeah. Chapel goes in there. Quick build it. Cha ching 
Uh, now, let's see. Traditional sermon, help first, preach later. The, the service quality is increased by 10. If visitors have their healthcare happiness lower than 20, then, then they'll also receive healthcare service with a quality of 20. Yes, do that. Sweet. Okay. So we had, uh, we had five on the fun and six on the healthcare. We want to try and improve that. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Well, we're four and five, it's going down. Hopefully, hopefully, over time, that will go up. So, yeah, any, anybody, anybody, yeah, we've got some people using them. We need some people, more people actually working there, would be kind of nice. It's nice to have choices. Build a dungeon. Okay, pause. Where's dungeon? It's uh, government dungeon. I'm going to throw the dungeon in there. I'm going to quick build it. Boom. Well, you did. The Complete right. the mandate. And then demolish it. <laughs> Got a little bit of cash, which is nice. You guys. Oh, yeah, we're working now. How are the taverns? Still need, still need some people working in the taverns. How, have we got people working there? Yes. So, hopefully, we should be getting the healthcare up. Let's keep that running. What do we want? Healthcare. Where is it? Healthcare. Oh, six and nine. We're, we're going up. More. We're going up. Yeah, more. Always more. Build a rum Let's distillery. Uh, which I can't afford to do right now. We've got much stuff to go. We've got seven grand going out. Almost eight. Boom. That's enough for a rum distillery. Um, what do I want to do with the, with this? I'm just wondering whether I'm going to demolish it or not. Or just leave it running. Um, let's see. Where, how is that one placed? That one's placed there. So... If I was going to place that one the same, I'd place it there. Shall I? Yeah, go on. Let's put that there. Uh, I've got enough money to quick build it. Let's open that up. We'll, we'll allow it to get built. Oh, I could, I could actually afford... Oh, uh, not quite. I can't quite afford to quick build it. How are we doing? Got a bit of rubber going down there, which is kind of cool. How are our plantations? Yep. And, yep. It's all good. It's all good. As soon as that gets built, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'm probably going to turn it off for now. But I think, like, maybe once I get a bit more cash or whatever, I might knock that one down and get the dunder still on this one. Nine grand, it's better. Come on, get it, get it done, get it finished. I must say, I'm glad to extend the mandate. We're back over ten years, guys. Back over ten years. So uh, this one, yeah, we'll now get out. We'll close you down for now because I, I don't want to do the don't want to do the upgrade right now. So I can start thinking about planning out the town. So what I, what I'm thinking of doing is having. Like having these these two distilleries there, and like maybe more maybe some more industry in this area here, and then have the town like in this area, but also to have a town on this side as well, so that this will be primarily for the plantation workers, and then this will be primarily for like the industry and maybe this side of the plantations. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? An export trade route. Yeah, I think we can do that. Uh, we're doing a pineapple. Let's get a rum contract and something else. Maybe, or maybe not. You know what? I might pick up another. Might pick up another pineapple contract. Yeah, what the hell? Go for it. How are we doing cash-wise? Don't nothing. Nothing down at the docks. What the hell's going on? 500 rum. Oh, there we go. We've got 700 rum down the docks. So there's another 8,000 coming in. I must say, in. I'm glad to be still. Another 18 months on the mandate. So we're all almost back up to 11 years again. 
we've got cash to spend. So guys, I think we'll leave it there for this episode. Oh, I, I can't wait to start building up the population and like have people working in every single one of these. It's gonna be unbelievable. The efficiencies I am freaking over the moon with. This, um, this multiculture, this is the way to lay out. This is the way to lay it out. It's, it's nice awesome. To have choices, oh, it? and we've got another another one. Let's pause that. So, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like this. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.